Good morning, everyone. We're on our way to the suburbs right now. It's about 7, 7, 725 in the morning. And we're on our way to the housing suburbs because we are currently going to cut down a tree. And I think it's I think it's a singular tree. Um, you know, it's yeah, I think it's just a singular small tree. So I think we should get this. Um, the only concern that people had was that it was right by our road. So, you know, we're going to have to set up some cones. We have some cones in the back. And I think we're good. We're, we're a small company. So, I mean, it's 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 going to definitely be an experience because we don't have the most experience. But we definitely have what we need. We have our licenses and stuff like that. Also got to watch for these uh, ice patches on the road because it can get very slippery. The plows haven't came through yet. I think it just stopped snowing like two hours ago. What are you doing? Jeez, like go walk somewhere. What, what are you doing? Y you can't walk onto traffic. <laughs> you can't walk onto traffic when I'm about to go. I almost just hit that guy. That would have been very bad. Yeah, they're having a little snowball fight. Yeah, they really need to chill out. Really need to chill out. So, the homeowner is not home currently. So, yeah, we just gave him a call. And he said to just get get to work, honestly. So let's turn on our warning lights just to make sure people, you know, don't do anything. Alright, uh, can you... Start by setting up like a little cone boundary. I gotta make sure the bucket is all in uh, operation and make sure the truck is all anchored. All right, there we go. I'm just attaching a little, little tiny anchors um, to the wheels here so that we can, you know, the truck doesn't tip over. I mean, it's 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 in pretty good weight right now. Just just testing the pressure and stuff. No, we're not shutting the road down. We'll just put some cones here so that people don't come close. Don't put them in the road. Put them like, yeah, yeah. And then make sure, maybe like put some back here, over there, stuff like that. Whew. All right. So what we're going to be using to cut down this tree is going to be this chainsaw. Let me get it from the compartment. Let me. Oh, yeah, this thing is loud. This thing is loud, loud. But this is what we're going to be using to cut down the tree. So I, I think this should be easy. We're going to start off by trying to get a little bit of those branches. Then we're going to try to get like about right there in that little area over here. And then they were, they also want us to cut down to the root. So we're probably going to get somewhere down here. You done? All right, good job. Good job done. Um, all right, well, let's get to work. So how this works, okay, so you gotta push up, we should go up a bit, yep, yep, yep. Alright, this is also one thing we have to watch for are these power lines. Honestly, I think I'm, I don't, I don't know if I'm too close or not, I might have to move the truck closer. I don't think I am, I think I'm, I think I should be good. Alright, I just reset the boom so that I can go ahead and safely move the truck. Because I, I thought I had it in good position, but I underestimated the, um, you know, I underestimated how far we can actually go with this thing. Um, hold on, I'm gonna make some adjustment. All right, I figure that this position is probably best for it. So yeah, you just start moving the cones. Um, I'll, I'll get to work while you're doing the cones so that we can make this a little bit faster. Because it was my fault. I, you know, I positioned the truck in a way that uh, I shouldn't have. So I'm just gonna have to get this started. All right, let's lift this thing up. Yep, so this is probably the best height we're going to get right now. Um, yeah, 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 all right, we could start cutting um, here in a bit. Just want to get a little closer. All right, perfect. All right, just going to cut this branch off. Jeez, this thing is loud. We got a nice view up here, I, I, I will say, I will say. We definitely have a nice view. We're going to change positions. All right, yep, that branch is going to take a hard fall. We're going to change positions a bit. And going to go up. Nope, that's not how far I wanted to go up. All right, right here should be good. We are so close to this dang power line. All right, this branch should almost be cut. 
Uh, I don't think it's... Yeah, it's like just barely hanging off there. Alright. Alright, alright. Alright, yeah. Just fell to the ground. Alright, I'm gonna have to... I might have to reposition the truck again to go get some of those branches over there. But for now, I think I can cut some of the lower ones. Like, maybe maybe that that one down there. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, we have a guy here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Two guys, what? Our power went out. What? What are you talking about? Did I... Doesn't... Doesn't seem to be anything wrong. What? Okay, so we have three people complaining. No internet, no power. Uh, did I... Did I make a dent in there? One fragile dent, and that thing is definitely cutting off the power. Alright. Um, well, I gotta, I'm just gonna go ask them what's going on. Thinking about it now, there was kind of a dent in there. Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of bad. Um, hey guys, what's going on down here? It's like a power line. Yeah, what's going on? Um, somebody said something about the power was out. We have no power. All right, um, I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do about it. We're here to cut down a tree. Uh... You guys need we can call the cable companies must just be cable outage or something okay all right I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and give them a call uh yeah yeah you go ahead and call them go ahead and call them right now all right, he's gonna on the phone all right well this is a pretty weird coincidence you guys said you had no internet or power everything's just off all right I'll, hold on, I'm gonna go, hold on. Okay, thinking about it now, guys, I think I got a little too close to that power line. Maybe there was some, like, static issues or something? Or maybe I did hit the power line, which will be a bad thing if I did. That would be, that would be really bad if I did. I gotta just, I gotta get a little bit uh, of a closer look to here. Um, oh yeah, right there. You see, okay, there, there is a dent right there. Okay, well, I don't want to blame it on myself, so. Oh, jeez, I screwed up. I screwed up bad time. I screwed up badly. Oh, this bucket's going way too high. So I click the reset button. Yeah, I screwed up. Um, okay. Yeah, guys, just just chill. Uh, DLT is on its way. Uh, you guys can go back to your houses or whatever. We have to finish. We have to finish our job, okay? We have to finish our job. To be honest, Eagles are winning. Oh yeah, I was watching that on my phone. Oh right, yeah, you, you guys, you guys can head out. I guess. I think we're gonna get sued. I mean, no. I mean, technically, aren't power cables like government owned or whatever? I don't know, like city owned, technically. I mean, plus, we're doing a service, you know, I mean, I don't know how much of that is going to affect the kind of trouble we get in, but, uh, it could, it couldn't, it could not, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Well, I guess their DOT is. Oh, they pulled up in fashion. Alright. Hey, guys. Um. So yeah, we were cutting down a tree, and I'll have to admit my little mistake. I, uh accidentally kind of cut the power line it's not falling off but it's uh, hanging there by like a thread and everyone came out and you know complained about not having wi-fi wi yeah i was trying to cut a tree and i might have gotten too close we're, we're, we're a tree cutting company we like landscape it's not gonna cost you money it's gonna cost the city money so it doesn't really even matter does it let me try our best to fix it. Thank you guys so much. Uh, do you guys need me to move my truck? Heard our reputation. No, you guys are just here to fix it. Doesn't matter. Alright. Okay, we gotta move it. Alright, sure, sure, sure. Oh, that's unfortunate. You know, I gotta move. Gotta move the truck. Because of my mistake, but... Hey. I guess I'll just back it up here. 
Uh, we gotta stay and just monitor. Make sure everything. Make sure everything you know gets handled or whatever. Because yeah, I wouldn't want to leave on my own mistake. This guy's gonna like. I don't, I don't know why. Why do we have one of these here? I'm not sure. It looks like a. It is a construction vehicle, but I don't know what they're gonna use it for. To be honest. We obviously got this cone truck. They have an, they have their bucket truck of their own, so yeah, I guess that's a good thing. Oh, I see what he's doing there. Okay, okay. That dirt has a little bit of snow on it, though. When did they get a bucket truck? Uh, it's DLT. You would think they have a bucket truck. Yeah, I mean, right? I've never seen it. I mean, yeah. Well, they probably don't use it much. I mean, plus it's the winter time. They probably don't use it much in the winter time. Uh, you know, the most I've seen them use it is, like, to repair stuff and set up cable, which... So a lot of times they just use ladders. They don't even use that type of stuff, so... You know, I guess... I, I, I guess... I guess you could say it's pretty rare. Though I do live around here. I might, I might go to my house. I, it's, it's pretty tempting. I don't want to wait here. The whole purpose was to go, um... Cut the tree down, which we got half of it, and there's a bunch of debris on the ground... We got half of the tree, but we didn't, you know, we didn't get the whole thing, which is not a job well done. Said, well, I guess you guys can leave and handle the rest of this. Okay. All right, well. Hey, yeah, uh, you're going to have to give a call back to the homeowner and say we have to reschedule it for tomorrow. That half of the tree has been picked up. I mean, cut. T just tell them, like, half of the tree has been cut and, you know, we, we, we can't, you know, we can't do much when... You know, we, we made a big mistake. Tell him, tell him we'll give him 20% back and, you know, what he paid. I was like, uh, I was like, you know, because we need to, you know, he paid for it to be done today and it's going to be done tomorrow. So I'll call them on the way to the station. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. We're going to have to go back to our little shack now. Oh, what a bad day or a bad morning, I guess. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to live thinking about this all day. Because it's only about 8 o'clock, and yeah, we, we made a big mistake, and that's not going to leave my brain. It's it's going gonna, it's gonna to curse me for the rest of the day, I'll, I'll tell you that. Do you want anything from the gas station? I'm just I'm just running in so I can get a, a drink. What would you like? I'm, I'm getting a sweet tea because I am thirsty. Gatorade? All right, I'll get you a Gatorade. I'll get myself a sweet tea to at least, at least uh, take my mind off of what happened today.